Welcome back. Let us now see how to solve the question number 22 in the Certified Kubernetes Administrator Killer Shell CKA exam simulation. Question 22, task weight is 2 percentage. Let us use this command to switch context. So the question says, check how long the Cube API server server certificate is valid on the cluster 2-master1. Do this with OpenSSL or CFSSL. Write the expiration date into this file. And also run the correct Cube admin, Cube admin command to list the expiration dates and confirm both methods show the same date. Um, Let's validate uh, the certificate validity. Uh, so certificate validity. So to do to do this, uh, first we have to SSH into the cluster two master one, and we know uh, that Cube API server would be running as a static part, but let's confirm that. Parts in the cube system namespace, and let's check only for cube API server. Okay, so this running as a static part, and we know that um, the manifest file for the cube API server or any static part for that matter would reside in its Kubernetes manifest. And it should be, you should now look for cube ap server.yaml. So this is the config for cube ap server. Uh, let us grep for the word set cert net. So we have um, the result. So the one that is of our interest would be the API server certificate, which is the TLS dash cert file so let's copy this and we have to use uh, use the first let's list the file if it is there a uh, file is there let's cat or open the file yeah this is the certificate file now what we have to do is we have to use the uh, open ssl or CFSSL, so we'll take OpenSSL for this example. OpenSSL, um, the command would be x509, this is the certificate, uh, or subcommand that we have to use. New alt, that dash text, and we are going to input this certificate, and this should basically decode the certificate file. Now we are piping this to uh piping this in we are going to look only for the word valid validity in it and let's um display possibly two lines um after the search term hit enter so we know that the validity so it says uh, not before 29th of september um this year and it is valid till 14th of December, uh, 9.06 p.m. next year at GMT time. So this is the validity of the certificate, QBP certif uh, server uh, certificate. Let's copy this. Um, let's create this file where we have to store the results. Let's create this file. We will copy the expiry or validity of QBP server. Come back to this terminal. Now, the second part of the question says you have to use the cube ADM command to list the expiration. So while we are on connected to this cluster, let's use cube ADM. Um, the subcommand for 
uh, working with the certificates or certs and uh, just hit enter let's see what options it presents so it says available commands there is something called the check expiration so we'll make use of this command so qb edm search uh, check expiration uh, hit enter so now let's clear the screen and present uh, execute the command once again um, so it says the certificate the expiry the residual time all these things so for ap server it is this time it is showing here let's copy this go back to the other terminal paste it so here it is um, showing in the utc time format uh, so gmt etc is now the same time um, because of the delete saving so it's 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 the same so this is from kubeadm the second line is from kubeadm and uh, the first line we have uh, obtained this value from the cube api server uh, manifest file so the time matches and uh, we need not have to i believe we need not have to write this because this is not explicitly stated in the question um i mean the second line but uh, let us still write them and save this file. Let's open the file once again to double check. We have written this information. Yes, it is. All right. Uh, this third section of this question says, uh, write the current cube ADM command that would renew the API server server certificates into this file. Um, let us create this file. So cube ADM and sub command to work with certificates is search. And uh, when I press enter, it gives available commands such as um, certificate key check expiration generate csr and renew so renew it says to renew certificates for kubernetes cluster so we can make use of uh, renew command and the question says we have to renew the api server certificate so let's now let us now um check expiration once again so we have to renew only this certificate api service, uh, server certificate so let us copy this uh, and we have to use just the renew command followed by the certificate name so this should uh, renew certificate let us copy this command paste it in here save the file let's validate uh, if we have written the command properly into this file it is but how do we know that this works so they didn't say like you know you have to renew explicitly but I think renewing, trying to renew this won't hurt. Um, proceeding with the renew. It says certificate for serving the Kubernetes API is now renewed. Let's now check the API um, certificate expiry. So I think it has renewed. So now the time for API server is 20 21 20 or 9 20 pm utc earlier all this um, certificate uh, was valid till 906 pm so this is 20 so it has renewed the file so i think we're done with this question um, thank you for watching see you again